What we have here are two takeoff pumps. We have a 1900 series and we have a 1600 series. The pumps are similar only in different in our ways that they use the same seal kit. Um, this pump has a, is cartridge driven and this is motor driven, direct driven by the motor itself. Okay, so on the 1600 series, we're going to start by taking off our impeller. Um, there are reverse threads on the impeller, so you want to make sure that you're going to actually tighten and you're actually going to be loosening the impeller. Take your impeller off. This is your mechanical seal. You're going to take off your spring. What you're going to do is take a couple of screwdrivers to take off the carbon part of your seal. And lift it straight up off the shaft. That's your old seal, which you're going to throw away. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take out the cartridge assembly so we can uh, replace the stationary um, porcelain part of the seal. So this comes in the box with the new cartridge. So I'm going to use that to flip this over. And then inside here there are two bolts that hold the cartridge in, into the bearing frame. Okay, these two screws here you want to take out. And the ears on this actually have the holes are uneven so the cartridge only fits in one way so if you put it in and the lines do not line up you want to just spin it 180 degrees and then that would uh, then you would be all set so this is your old cartridge you want to take all your old parts out and throw them away you don't want to reuse anything so what we're going to do now is we're going to take out our stationary part of the seal, which is the po white porcelain and rubber part. That just pops out from the back side. And now you're ready to put your new seal in. Okay, so now we're, uh, we're going to change our seal with our seal kit. We got a carbon, we got a new carbon piece, we got a new stationary part, you got a new impeller bolt and washer. Okay, now we're going to take our stationary part of the seal, the porcelain piece. Um, Taco actually also gives you a little uh, packet of silicone so you can do this. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your packet of silicone and you're going to put it on the rubber part of your stationary seal. You're going to go around the edge of that and you want to make sure you don't get any on the porcelain piece. At this time, you're gonna, we're going to press this in here. When you open your spring in your seal kit, you're going to get a little piece of cardboard. We usually use that to put on top of the porcelain so you don't get any grease from your fingers or fingerprints on. You're going to press that in nice and tight all the way around. And that process you're all set. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our new cartridge out of the box. Okay, we're going to flip this over. We're going to take the sleeve, shaft sleeve off, slide it into the bracket. We're going to take your cartridge and we're going to slide it in. Now remember your holes are offset so if they don't line up you spin it 180 degrees and you're good to go. Take your two screws tighten them hand tight. Now you're going to flip your bearing frame back over and now we're going to put the other part of the seal in. Okay, so now you have your carbon part of your seal. What you're going to do is you're going to take your carbon part. You're going to take some more silicone from the packet that Takeo supplies. Put some on your finger. Put it inside. Make sure you don't get any on this carbon part. Any grease or anything from your hands will be bad. You can also put a little bit on your shaft. Take that, flip it over. So the carbon side is facing down, will match up with the porcelain part of the seal. That is your actual seal where it actually seals. You're going to take your spring and your spring cover, take your impeller, slide it on. It only goes on one way. And remember, your threads are reverse threads, so you're going to actually loosen it to tighten it. Let's take a screwdriver, slide it right into the side of the impeller and we'll tighten. And that's your seal on a 1600. Okay, so now that we've changed out a seal in the night on the 1600 series pump, we're going to change a seal on a 1900 series. 
it's uh, the seal is the same. Okay, also on these, the reverse thread on, on the shaft. You want to take your impeller off. Take your spring. Take your carbon part of the seal off. Slide right out. And what you're going to do next is we're going to take this motor bracket, cover bracket off. So we can take out our stationary part of the seal. We make a marking on here so that way I, when I put it back together, it goes back the same way I took it apart. Okay, now this cover bracket's going to come right off. And what you're going to do is we're going to tip this over so we can take this stationary part of the seal out. The process of doing this is the same as the 1600 series. And make sure you scrape off your gasket. Once that's all scraped, you want to put your stationary part of the seal into the pump. Okay, so now we've replaced our stationary part of the seal. We're going to put the bracket back onto the motor. Make sure you put your marks back where they were. Okay, the rest of the seal goes on. Your impeller. Remember reverse threads. And that's it. That's your seal on a 1900 pump.